All right. So I've gotten this question more than once. Um, how do you begin multi-boxing? Like before you choose a team, before you use IS Boxer, Is Boxer, Hotkey Net, whatever, how do you literally just begin with opening multiple accounts and what have you? Well, first thing you do is you set up an account with Blizzard. So go to blizzard.com or whatever and set up an account using any sort of an email and download their software and voila, you got this menu here. The here I have two different emails um, and two different Blizzard accounts. So once you've gotten this far, what you do is under your Blizzard account, you're gonna under this Blizzard menu, you're gonna go here, you're gonna click, and you go, I'm gonna click on view account. So right here, click on this menu right here, scroll down, view account. Okay, so once you hit view account, you enter a menu that looks something like this. It's gonna be under account details. You want to be under games and subscriptions. Under games and subscriptions, you're gonna have at the very least one instance of World of Warcraft, I think, currently activated. If not, what you do is scroll down and under here, create starter edition account. So you're gonna create an account by clicking here and it's gonna create a WoW account for you. Um, if you want more than one WoW account, which if you're looking at this video, it means you're probably wanting the multi-box, which means yes, you probably do want more than one WoW account. You're gonna click on create starter account multiple times. You can do it up to eight per Blizzard account. Um, on this case, I have five WoW accounts. So one, three, five, two, four. So that equals five. And if you take a look here, this is under the name Lazy Titan. Lazy Titan, five WoW accounts. Okay, so technically you haven't paid for anything yet. All you've done is set yourself up to be able to play multiple instances of WoW using one Blizzard account. So once you've gotten this far, um, in order to be able to play more than one instance of World of Warcraft, what you want to do is when you're on this menu, all right, I'm going to move this out of the way. When you're on this menu, you're going to click on this top left icon Blizzard, and then you're going to go down to settings. Click on settings and just immediately make sure this is clicked. Allow multiple instances of Battle.net. So using this will let you run multiple copies of Battle.net on this computer. It almost certainly will cause weird things to happen. Don't say we didn't warn you. Yeah, I haven't had anything weird happen yet. Like it's been good. So you've been warned. Either way, um, once you have this checked, you should be able to open up multiple accounts of World of Warcraft. So all right. So let's just try play WoW two. Good. It's opening up one instance of World of Warcraft. Play WoW 1. Good. It's opening up a single instance of World of Warcraft. So you see here, if the idea was to do a box or to have two different, you know, characters played at the same time, I now have that set up. And you could do max screen. Um, I use Windows mode, like so certain screens are bigger than others. You know, you can, I don't know if you can use maximize, if you can maximize it or whatever, but Windows mode works fine for me so that I could adjust the size of the screen, however big or however small I want, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, so now you have it set up to where you can play multiple instances of World of Warcraft on a single PC at the same time. Okay, so. Something I wish I had known when I started is the recruit a friend. So I could have, you know, I probably have many more free months today and would have paid less money over time had I done this properly to start with. So before you start paying for your monthly WoW subscriptions, make sure that you recruit yourself as a friend. So the way to do this is you must log in to the inferior World of Warcraft that is the current World of Warcraft. I'm sure the current World of Warcraft isn't terrible, but I don't like the art style. It's not nearly as gritty and more cartoony than 
World of Warcraft up through Wrath of the Lich King. Whatever happened after Cataclysm, I can't say I'm a fan. But either way, I'm sure it's an okay game. Plenty of people play it. Um, so, what you do, this is just a whatever character in um, World of Warcraft regular, as it is today. You double click in it. Um, so this initial account is the one that you just paid for already. So this is your initial subscription, I guess your main subscription, if you want to call it that. What you're going to do in this main subscription is you are going to go to your social tab. Press, click on that tab or just hit O. And what you're going to do is under that social tab, you're going to hit the recruit a friend tab. Under the recruit a friend tab, you are going to click on recruitment. I believe that's what this one is going to say. And then this window will pop up. Um, it will have something for you to click on that says generate a link. So you're going to click on that link and then you're going to click on that button and then it's going to generate a link for you like you see here. Copy that link and you're going to go to your internet, whatever it may be. Uh, Internet Explorer, Firefox, you're going to paste that link. Let's see, officials, officials, calf, caliph to reopen one's testing, tracing, improve. Yeah, when that will be, we'll find out, but for now, we're talking wow. So, I'm entering that link, and it says, Shadow Murloc, number 118276, wants you to play, world of, wants to play World of Warcraft with you, exclamation point. So, team up with a friend, blah, 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 and so on. So, assuming this is my WoW 1 account, I would probably click on my WoW 2 account, the other one, and then I would click on accept your invitation, and then take it from there. Um, once you've accepted the invitation, in order to just make sure that it's working, which uh, I don't want to close all tabs, in order to make sure it's all working, I would at the very least enter into the game with that account and just check to make sure that everything went through. So let's just see. Oh, I got a loud chair. I do believe. Let's see. Yeah, so that's the character that is the recruiter friend. So you see this, it says summon friend. You can only do that if you're a recruit. And in this case, this is a recruit. And so it works. And on this account, the recruited account, for every three months that you pay for for that account, your recruiter will get one free month. So make sure if you're gonna multi-box just do the right thing and make sure you're paying less money for it by recruiting all of your other accounts after paying for your initial one um that's about it if there's any additional questions i'm using two different emails to create two different um you know so one email recruits the other accounts and so I'm not entirely sure if this account can recruit a WoW 2, which can recruit WoW 3 and WoW 4 and WoW 5 and so on. Um, I'll find out, like, let me know. But either way, that is the concept. If you can't do it on a single email account, just create a second email account. It's not that big of a deal to log into two Blizzard, Battle.net, WoW accounts, what have you. So many accounts in the year 2020. Either way, um, I hope this helps with the introduction to multiboxing, and I hope it helps with uh, just the very first steps you should and ought to take in order to begin multiboxing this great game, World of Warcraft Classic. Anyway, take care.